Hello, everybody. Welcome to Solo Style with Morgan Star Killer. I'm um, just letting you know this is kind of like a thing that I just did on a whim for Eve, Eve Online Community TV or EOC.TV. I just wanted to do this because, you know, I had like an idea to start doing videos and all that. It's also going to be on YouTube. I'll give you, I'll probably set up. This, this is kind of on a whim here, so you're going to have to deal with me for the first couple of videos. And the way this is going to work is I'm going to have three, I'm going to be using three ships. Three ships for this particular video, and this is going to be rant for at first. It's going to be just ones of my choosing, but the second is going to be completely theme based because you know I wanted to do theme based ones a little bit later on, but I'm not sure how that's going to work. We'll see how it goes. And for now, let's see how this plays out. First off, my first ship's going to be pro most likely. I don't want to do the hmm. yeah, we'll do the harpy. I need to get rid of this thing anyway, see how it goes. Uh, I I am a lover of skins, by the way. I just wish there were more T2 Assault Freak skins, so otherwise uh, I'm just kind of used to them not, not having any, and it sucks. Because I mostly buy T T1 skins, and, because, and it's going to be kind of weird for me because I'm bad at solo. This is, this is actually completely unedited, and I am really bad at solo PvP, so you're going to have to bear with me on this. So for, I'm, it, and another stipulation I'm planning to do is at some point, um, not this video, but I have to stop the video if I get potted. Three, three ships in one pot are my lives, basically. If I lose the pot, I'm done for the day. We'll see how this works out. Right now I'm in a Harpy, which is the T-Tech 2, the Kaldari Tech 2 Assault Frig. Got four blaster slots. Um, this one particularly has two, uh... Two up uh, magnet mag field stabilizers and damage control. Uh, one of those T1, I think, about a three damage control. I'm not entirely sure on that. And mainly, right now, I'm gonna tell you a little bit about myself. I play this. I've been playing this game since like 2014, I believe, March 2014. I'm also doing a dust series that coincides with this. It's probably gonna be every other day between. They're gonna be like every other day in terms of which videos get released when. Uh, except weekends, I might release both on this, both on the same day. For now, I'm gonna switch to, uh, this. I'm gonna we'll talk a little talk about this. I, I'm in Faction Warfare currently, and I've been doing it since, I've been on and off. I've been in Faction Warfare twice, once when I started, and once now, a couple, like, for a couple months now. And, if anything, I'll talk a little bit more about that later. I just wanna get the PvP started, because, you know... I need I need to work on my solo. And if you guys are wondering why I'm real, the solo, why my frame rate's really bad, is I have a crap computer. Let's be on, I'm gonna be honest with that. So it ain't that great. So I might have to raise the re frame rate a bit later, and I also have sound on, so that doesn't help. Okay, so I'm gonna go to Ribaka, try to get some PVP there or Marteau, because I'm gonna see how this goes. And this is my, for all I know, this might end badly because I'm, in a, I'm guessing this one's a kind of a not great fit for assault frigs. Because I barely know how to fit my ships. I'm better at fitting stuff in dust than I am in EU because, you know, I never really fit stuff in E very much. Most of the time I'm using taking stuff out of the, uh, of our corp hangers, which is pretty, f it's still not bad, but I'm still, I'm not used to fitting my own ships sometimes. I try to, and I'm really bad at it, though. That's the kicker. I'm really bad at fitting my own ships. So these videos are probably between like 15 to 30 minutes long depending on how long it takes for me to die. <laughs> if I, um, if anything I will try to set that up as much as possible and we'll see how it goes. If I don't die within 15 minutes, if within like 20 minutes I'm probably going to call it. Anyway, um, in faction, I'm basically in faction warfare in Kaldari and as you can tell I'll click the faction warfare, um, what the word. The Valente, I believe, are currently at T3. I'm going to have to check that. I believe they're still at T3, so I'm going to check that. Uh, waiting on it to load. Blah, 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 blah. Yeah, Galante are at T3 pretty hard, and we're only at T2, which is kind of a problem for us, because, you know, we're... That'll be... Ooh, we lost Necromizer. Shit, that was fast. What else did we? are we at? Holy shit, okay, that, I think that's template, I'm not sure if that's where that's at. Dama's not ours. Oh, Kadama's ours. Aki Doggy does not look that great either. 
currently in Red Vodka, Harvest. Uh, we're gonna start working on this. I might do a separate, might make that a separate video for Puxing. Or maybe Twitch stream for Puxing. Coruscant's not that great. What else do we got? Okagaiken. I don't even have Mira. Billison might need to be some flexible. Ooh, nice music. Didn't even notice. I never really, the thing is, I never really have sounds on. So it's so weird. Anyway, if you, if you haven't done Factor Warfare, in order to get, there are, it's like, kind of like, in the sense that you can do two things. There's the PV side, which is like, you, I'm n I've never really done, in terms, there's so much that you can do with Factor Warfare, and it's, I believe it's also very profitable. I just never really spend my loyalty points. So the way it works, in order to get loyalty points, you can either kill people, which will kill, like, en enemy people from the enemy militia, which you can choose one of four militias, and two militias are basically have an alliance together in terms of just who to shoot and who not to shoot. Um, in terms of uh, getting all those points, you could either A, kill enemy war targets, or B, um, I believe outside, B, um, I'm going to say do missions for faction warfare, or C, do these, uh, do these particular things called out, um, I think they're called combat sites, uh, for Faction Warfare. They're particularly Faction Warfare Dungeons, I believe they're called. And what you do is you sit around, it's kind of like King of the Hill in terms of you have to stay around, you have to stay at a certain spot. Ooh, well, somebody's here. You have to stay in a certain spot and try to, you know, flex it, try to wait the timer out and you get loyalty points for it, plus it also brings up, up or down depend brings it brings your contested rating down if you're defending a certain site and if you're attacking if you're trying to raise the contested rating if you're going into like enemy space and the thing about that is you have to uh you have to attack you, there's like enemy little rats and i'll bring up on the PvE, pve tab i have okay i don't have it on the pve tab i might have to add that in a bit but, but yeah, there are any there are enemy rats and you have friendly rats as well. The only reason I took like that one, I believe, is friendly. Hold on. And they in the in depending on the size, they are it depends on the size of the class class of the ship depends on what thing you're in. Since I'm in a medium outpost, it's going to be always a cruiser. Small novices are only fit, can you only for T1 infraction frigs. And you fit those, and you can and only frigates are going to be in it. Destroyers are destroyers down, and that includes tactical destroyers at the moment, um, assault frigs, all TX2 frigs, all faction frigs, and all tech one frigs. So it's destroy uh, tactical destroyers down. And in order to use those, got a mail. In order to use those, you have um, what was it? Hold on, I gotta get my mail. I guess I had enough. Anyway, in order to get in order to finish these up, you just gotta be around the button. So what happens is you You basically have to stay around the button and plex and basically it's called plexing because you used, people used to I believe the goon swarm used to use their ult to plex accounts with it. But that's I wouldn't know about that much because I've only been playing for a year since this since, like it's been like twelve years since this game's been out. And I've been only playing for about ooh, I'm gonna say one and a half one year six months. In uh, it's gonna be one year and seventh as of October first. We'll leave that be for now. Anyway, the thing is like I'm gonna call it at like 2200 in terms of just trying to get kills, but like I might go around roaming. I'm not sure. I just want to finish this flex first, and we'll be on our way. Anyway, uh, if you it like I and then it's for mediums. I uh, was on the particular subject of uh, uh the gates, the, acceler the acceleration gates. In order to get into dungeons, some it's restricted per on uh, depending on the class of the ship. Uh, mediums allow cruisers down, including every tech three cruisers, tech two cruisers, and down. Battle crew, um, I believe, large is a bit. I think is all ca all sub cap ships. I'm not. I don't think they allow capital ships on there. I'm not. Correct me if I'm wrong though in the comments. Anyway, we'll see how this goes. I'm still got six minutes on here, and I want to see if anyone fights me. Otherwise, I'll go to Eurologia. 
and we'll see how that goes. This is this is probably going to be the only video I'm going to record for today until I get my uh, record for today, at least for the at least in this hour. Might do a dust video later. So the thing is, is like, I'm, I'm and here's the thing. I usually fly T1 for because I've never really flown T2 uh, anything. I am skilled in the T2. It took a, it took a long time. It took over a year for me to do it. But I'm skilled in the T2 assault frags, T2 interceptors. I'm gonna say electronic. I'm also. I think I'm in New York. I'm not. I don't think I am. I'm not sure. I'm in covert ops. I have stealth bombers, so I'm good with those. I can do tech. Um, uh, Galente and Amar tactical destroyers. That's pretty much the tech threes I'm in. I haven't really trained the, the cruisers just yet because you know those take a while. Uh, I pretty much uh, the races I trained in were um, particularly every race um, up to battle cruiser, and then the three. Than everything but Mimitar in terms of battleships, but they're only. I think the battleships are only at level three at the moment. I have everything, most of everything, at level four or five outside the battle cruisers and battleships. So yeah, it's gonna be kind of hard. Let's see how this goes. If um, anything, I might go roam around a bit and essentially try to get this done. Gonna ask out team speak at the moment. See how that goes. Anyway, the other thing is like there's sort of a, there's sort of like a tactic in order to like you know you can you can you can use the warp scramblers on the gates, which is always kind of a pain in the ass if that happens. That's why most people warp in at ten on the gate, I believe, in terms of you know doing packs warp and stuff. And team speak made things a lot better. Yay! So I got 4 minutes 15 seconds on this plex, we'll see what happens, since it's gonna be a little bit, I know, I can already tell. And then we got 5 minutes trying to get a kill, at least one kill or die, so if that happens. If anything, this, this might be a little more boring than I thought it would be, but we'll see what happens. So I, I, let me check the Harpies bonuses, because I'm gonna look at the ship bonuses for every ship, I might as well do it now. Herpes bonuses. If you have Galante Frigate level one, it gives you ten. It, every Galante Frigate level gives you ten. The ten percent bonus to small Tiber turret off the range, and four percent bonus to all shield resistances. Uh, bonuses assault frigate levels give you bonuses to a ten percent to small hybrid turret off the range, and then five percent of damage. It's not bad. Let's read the description on it. It's gonna give me like a small description. The Ishikune Ishikone. And created the Harpy as a long-range support frigate for defenses of Fukushima holdings, as well as increased muscle and visibility from the constantly shifting game of Cold War. Of Cold War, the Kaldaric Megacorp police forces play amongst themselves. Well, the Greedy possessing a large reputation despite its limited in initial circulation, the Harpy is a powerful railgun platform with long-range capability and small, strong defense systems. Formidable on one-on-one -on -one as a support ship is referred to as the Little Moa by the pilots who participated in its safety and performance testing. So I should be playing as, as a long-range frigate, not a short-range frigate, but still, I mean, I got, it could be a lot worse. I got two minutes, I believe two minutes. Yeah, I got two minutes, 33 seconds till this plex is done. And we'll see how this goes. I, w I really want people to come in. The problem is I, I, we're kind of having problems with this particular system. As you can see, it is currently at 58.4% in terms of the contested level. So if they, if they get it high enough, we might end up, you know, losing the system, which it doesn't really, it wouldn't matter as much if it wasn't connecting Irolaja and Kanaka together, and also Crossroads into Obochi, which is kind of like, a, which is like, it's kind of a fuck up in terms of Kaldari, because, you know, we have that issue with, um, in the sense that we have, a uh, we have a basis around here, we have Kanaka, which is kind of like the, which goes into Anamon, which is my home station, and start the Kaldari High Second Black Rise around this area. Then we have uh, Kanaka, which is the lo which is the entry into Black Rise Losek. Iroda has a station system. Obochi leads us into IC, which is my corporation's uh, particular main base that's outside of faction warfare. And then I believe Iroda also goes to Marteau, which goes into Kajari, which is our Losek base system. Okay, we got a, hundred, a minute and eighteen, uh, one minute and sixteen seconds left on this plaque. I'm gonna wait until I'm gonna wait it out, and we'll probably go try to do some solo PVP.
Now, these videos might be longer than I thought it would be because, you know, it's, it's like I said, this is a record on my one for the first time. We'll see how this goes. And please, please forgive me for the frame rate. This is still my first, this is still kind of a low end PC, and this is my first time actually recording a, like a video on this PC. I, do, I tried streaming on it before, but it's clearly not wor it's clearly not wor really working with it. Because, you know, it's a low end, it cost me like 250, it cost me $250 for my birthday. So we'll see how this goes. After this, I'm probably going to head to Irola to see what happens there. I can't say these names, so we'll see how that goes. Oh, we got someone in system. Let's see where he heads. Let's see what he's in. Let's see if we can find out what he's in. He, I cannot find out what he's in. He's too close. Uh, we'll see what happens. Cause I'm kind of thinking about going to the large and see what happens there. Okay, we got more, another person. Let's see what he's in. I can. Oh, gate's too far away. Hmm. What should I do in this situation? I'm gonna work to the Earl. Okay, they're gone. Let's head to Earl Alton. Since uh, you get loyalty points, and the and the thing is, the tiers. Yeah, if in the tiers for the the tiers are depend make um, your loyalty point payout for doing flexes depends on. Hmm. It depends. Yeah, I'm recording something. Alright, anyway. Yeah, sorry about that. Anyway, uh, it depends. The. Alrighty, back. Um, sorry about that. My mom was talking to me. I might have to edit that out. You know, I'm not gonna edit out that to hurt. Uh, let's see what happens. But so currently, I'm in Rybaka. There's a fucking there's a war target here, and it's in a hawk. Let's see if I can take it on, or where it warps to. It, it, oh shit! It's warped. It's attacking me. Is that? It's gonna web me, so it's gonna end badly. Yes, this might end badly for me, but we'll see what happens. I might warp if not gonna pick up another ship if anything. Ooh, this might be a close one. We'll see what happens. If my thing will let me. Cause yeah, my PC ain't that great services. Your eyes here. Where is my thing? And yeah, I'm passive tank, so ain't great. This ain't gonna work. Yeah, the frame rate's moves fucking up, so I'm gonna warp out of here into a different system. Damn, this ain't working out. Okay, that's fine. And I'm really doing the rate of fire part. Oh shit. I am out. And we might warp back in on him. Depending. It's just, it's, I didn't know that was going to mess up my frame rate really hard. I'm sorry. And we, I'm going to try to kill him one more time. We'll see what happens. Look, I really want to try to kill this guy. So, see what happens. I want to see where he plays it, where his plays out. Yeah, I think he, he might have broken through my defenses kind of hard, so let's see. I'm gonna war back to your Alja. Alright, cool, he's here. See what he does. He's, uh, gonna... And I know he's gonna aggress, that's my problem. We're gonna do that. Do that. See what happens. Trying to not escape, so we might want to get off of there. I, I just want to see how this plays out. If I die, I die. I just want to brawl with the first. I want to shoot some shit at it. But why am I moving the camera? I need to do this. It won't, it won't, there we go. 
Yeah, this ain't really working. I gotta... See if I can burn them out a little bit. I'm not gonna... probably gonna lose this, but we'll see what happens. Babochi coming up. Gotta find it that. He is really active boosting, so this thing might not work. Blind to Kanaka. See if I can take this guy out. Because you know, he's kind of hard. And he's got me in armor. I am going to be down. The Lion Tear Alja. Alright, so I died. Good fight. Kurinex, uh, I'm gonna type it on local as well, this will be on EOC.TV, hopefully it won't fuck me up, and yeah, I'm pretty sure he fucked me up. Okay, warp drive active, I think. Alright, warp drive is active. Uh, recording us on EOC, for EOC. Didn't realize you were practiced, um, you know, tanked, uh, uh, I didn't know you were active tank, so that was actually a really good fight. If anything, uh, we'll see how this goes. I have no idea what you're saying. Alrighty, that'll be my, that's my first ship gone, and I'm not sure how else I'm gonna do. Oh, maybe not Kanaka. Yeah, I'm fucked. <laughs> Though I, I might have killed, might have ended up dying, killing myself at this point. But what are you gonna do? All right, I'm probably gonna. I should probably see what I'm gonna play next. So that was actually not a bad. I, I really like fight. I really like fighting these guys. The gals, however, some of them might be kind of, you know, assholes, but they're they're actually not, they're not actually, like, good fighters, and I, I really appreciate that. Um. Oh, okay. I'm pretty sure I'm fucked. See what happens. I'm gonna, if anything, I'll talk, see if I can talk up and finish this video. And I hope you guys had a great time. Um, next video will probably be, most likely be out tomorrow if I can. If I can do that. If not, it'll probably be on Monday because I have some stuff going on. I might pre-record a dust video for you though for Sunday. Alrighty, uh, talk to you guys later. This is DJ Morgan Circular. And I'm just, you, you can find me on eve-radio.com. As DJ Morgan Starkiller on Fridays at 1600 GMT. Also, my Twitter is at Morgan Starkiller. I'll probably post that um, later in the video description. Later.